Hey, welcome back to my channel. Previously we were shooting paint on this 993 Turbo build. In this video I'm going to show you the work in progress and how I've created some new parts using resin 3D printing. I started off with the wheels. I noticed the, the wheels on this kit are a bit too small in my opinion. I matched them up with the body and struggled to find a sporty look. So I started from scratch and found a photo of a turbo twist wheel and put it into a program called Rhino where I could model this in 3D. It took me some time to get used to the user interface and scale the picture correctly for the wheel and then model the swoops and the curves and also the wheel nuts and tire valve too. Once I was happy with the geometry, I exported the file as an STL into Chitu Box. I rotated the geometry at an angle so that I could successfully add supports to hold onto this wheel as it is printed. While slicing the file, it's a good idea to double check layer by layer the file and the geometry is clean and watertight for a successful print. After approximately half an hour of printing, I took off the support material, I set the resin and also printed one to shoot in silver to double check the geometry and how it compared to the original kit part. The new wheel printed is approximately 20 millimeters in diameter. This is sufficient for the real part, which should be 18 inches, scaled down to 1 to 24. This is work in progress, so I will need to purchase some black flexible resin to print a lower profile tire. Whilst I was on the wheels, I also drew up another wheel which I really like. It's a BBS style, which was typically used on a NSX Zanardi or NSX Type S0. The lugs and the tyre valve came out really nicely. Moving on to the interior, the kit provided parts looks like they have been modelled on a previous generation of 911, possibly a 964. Having a quick look online and comparing the 993 interior with the 964, it was clear that there could be improvements made here. The door cards, the rear seats, uh, the backs of the seats, the tombstones and especially the steering wheel. This is uh, from an earlier version. Just like the wheels, I started from scratch and took a reference photo of the 993 interior and started to model it up in Rhino. Cross-referencing the original parts from the kit, I took the outline and then I slowly drew up the door handle, the door bin, the speakers, the electric windows, tweeters and also the electric mirror control. After exporting the files into STL and printing, I have created some door cards which are more suitable for the 993. I'm happy with the results as most of the finer details have shown up on these door cards. The tweeters, the electric window switch, the speakers, the grab handle. On the driver's side, unfortunately, the electric mirror toggle was too fine to be represented. Whilst preparing the door cards, I also went through the other parts of the interior, which were the back seat pads. These are a completely different shape and a lower profile. I also created the bases to the front seats. I spent a bit of time also making other parts to make the interior as accurately as I could. I test fitted these parts into the interior. Uh, with the back seat pads, there needs to be some cutting and shutting, 
uh, some holes need to be filled in in order to make them fit. The door cards look great, but uh, I'll decide on the colour scheme later. I've struggled a bit with the sports seats, the backrest, and I've used another program, said Brush Core, in order to give it that puffiness and make it as accurately as I can. So I'm still learning this program, so bear with me, it's work in progress and hopefully I can push on with this. It's taken me a couple of weeks, but I've appreciated how 3D modeling and 3D resin printing can upgrade our kits. Thank you for watching and I hope this video has been a good insight of what I've been up to and thank you to my subscribers so far as they've been leaving comments and if you would like to leave a comment, subscribe or like, that would be appreciated. I'll see you in the next video.